Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use this old 32 relay controller and used by the Tuya application so that you will can use this Amazon for Alexa voice country and this Google Home for voice country also you can use Amazon and Google application to control this H32 relay controller and this H32 relay controller is designed about three years ago so this is stopped produced now but many of our user and customer have had this controller so i will introduce you use this to your adapt and let you this box and support to your application and this board this is to your adapt uh, support connect with this board with this controller by is232 point or is485 point but this time I will show you the new firmware of this ESP32 of this Tuya Adapt. You can use the Wi-Fi TCP connection connect with this controller and uh, wirelessly. So you can see here uh, this is controller and this is Tuya Adapt. There is no cable connect directly, but this board can send a command by this Wi-Fi and send it to the load and the load send it to the relay controller. Okay, let's look at how to do with it. We can see here that is the phone we have uploaded the new firmware that support tcp connection the controller you can use the internet maybe you have the wi-fi version or is no problem uh, just let this to your board you can connect with your loader and here you can see that is work with h32 bs and this is by the wi-fi and this is uh, connect with h32b and this is h32l and this is uh, just this one, H32, the earliest relay controller. And here is the source code and the newest uh, we have uploaded the file at here. This is download tool of the ESP32 and the bin file from the firmware. You can see all images have here. And here are some LED indicators on this board uh, that have showed what LED indicator means. So you can see uh, this have LEDs and there are two buttons you can see uh, that have two buttons and this button is for reset and this is for reset to manufacturing uh, that will clear all data of the configuration and here is the button that is config uh, for this Tuya module that is used for config Wi-Fi for Tuya okay let's look at how to do with it and the first you need to use this controller and set to the work mode in TCP server. You can see uh, this is VCOM that config for this old controller. And you can see the device and uh, double click. And make sure you can see this IP address and the port. And the work mode is TCP server. Uh, this can choose, this is master TCP server, not TCP client, master TCP server. And choose at this sections you can click this modify setting and uh, repower on of your controller just like this repower on and uh, okay this is set the work mode and then now we can use this k box uh, you can see here is the application the k box you can use uh, ios iphone or android phone so that we can test whether can use the tcp server mode Use the mobile phone controlling this relay controller directly without the internet. So you can see here I can add device and input the IP address. So this IP address just uh, just uh, you you have see uh, in this way. You can see here that is a 119. So so we just input. And the part and the relay controller and choose the 32 channel and the save and you can see that will have 32 switch so you can see here i can turn on one two three four uh, that is work fine okay the next step we just configure this to your adapt and use the tool application so first, we can connect with the USB cable because we need to download the firmware and connect with this power supply. You can use this power supply 
Also, you can connect with this this terminal that have power supply interface. So you can see that is the red is power LED. We can close this window, close this window, and just use this ESP downloader tool. You can download this file. Just download this file, and I have download. So have this uh, photo. So you can see I can just click this one and choose the chip type ESP32. Okay, you can see this window. We can let it become large. And here you just uh, do as this photo. You can see here that is four items uh, every being file that you can click this one uh, to choose uh, which bin file you have download because this in my computer in your computer you need to change and just you will see that become green that is correct and this is address you can see set this address this address this address this address this address just as this photo and now you can see here the com that you can click because the USB will auto detect the com number and the band you can choose this one and this will be fast and click start that will be begin download uh, so this will very easy to download the firmware uh, to this ESP32 now okay after download we can close this window and now you can repower on just like this repower on you can see this D1 is off D1 is off so we can see this computer Wi-Fi signal we enable the Wi-Fi you can see this is KC868 Tuya module that can work as the AP mode so I can click connect let my computer connect Wi-Fi to this board directly so I can input uh, this IP address of this Tuya adapt you will see uh, this is config web page for this Tuya module so you can click config Wi-Fi and here that is scanned many Wi-Fi signal I have used this one Kinkoni in my office so I can input the password okay after input the password you can see here the relay board IP and the relay board port and which country mode so this I can input this one you can see here you can see here just this controller and this IP address uh, is this one and the port is this 4196 so I can just input 4196 and you want to use by Wi-Fi so you can input Wi-Fi if you want use by this RS4 RS232 you just input 232 so I, this time I input Wi-Fi so you can click save I wait for a moment okay that will be restart so you can see this is D1 this time D1 is become on so that means config Wi-Fi successfully for this ESP32 module and this time you can see the D2 and this is D2 the D2 also is on so now you can see the controller have been connected by this Wi-Fi adapt so uh, this D1 and D2 is on okay let's begin and use this mobile phone you can see here the Tuya application make sure you have enabled the Bluetooth so I can click this one we can hold down this button and begin to configure the Tuya module so you can see this is D4 the D4 began blink so we can see here that D4 when blink that is ready to configure the Wi-Fi so this is D4 blink and now we can click and add a device and you can see that will find this model and press, press add and press this 
Next, just configure the Wi-Fi as an SSID and the password. And go on. I okay. found 33 new devices. Try saying, turn off H32B Pro. So you can see now the Alexa Speak have found this H32B Pro. And you can see this D4 now is not blink. So we can click down. And you will find the H32B Pro, the window have shared. So you can test it. Let's test it. You can see here, I can click that is turn on, switch one, and this I can turn off switch one. Now I just use this mobile phone and uh, control this board, and uh, this board will send a command to control this edge city to really control that. Now I can switch, you can see here, I can disable my Wi Fi. I will use the 4G for the test. You can see here, now I have mobile phone use 4G, so that can use the internet remote country. So you can see here, I can click one, and click switch two, that is switch two. That will feed back the state to the mobile phone. So you can see, I press this button, the switch one, three is on, then feed back to the state. Okay, this is how to use the mobile phone to control this really controller. And this time, that have enabled the Alexa speak for the voice country. So you can see here, I, I use the Alexa to test. And later you can also use this Google Home. Just I use this Alexa for a demo. Alexa, turn on switch one. Okay. You can see here, and this update. So Alexa will control this reading board firstly to turn on this switch one. And the relay controller will feed back to this to your application the state. Alexa, turn off switch one. Okay. So you can see the step. Uh, step one is close, is turn off uh, this relay, and the step two is update to the to your application. So use this solution and this board ad adapt. You can easy to use this relay controller and with the Twitter application without any cable. Uh, just uh, just this connect with your load and this you can put anywhere, just have the Wi-Fi signal. Okay, this is how to use the voice country and the Google Home, just use the same way to use the voice country. Okay, thanks for watching.